In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Golden Cannon Grid. We're gonna talk a little bit about it and I'm gonna show you guys how I like to use it. And in tomorrow's video, we're actually going to use this to design a website. So that's today's video, the Golden Cannon Grid. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is actually what the Golden Cannon Grid looks like. And you can get this from this dribble post right here. I'll have it linked down in the description. And from my knowledge, I believe this is who created it. This is Adrian Somoza. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I probably didn't, so I apologize. Uh, but I found this on Dribble a while ago, and he's got all kinds of different file types, so you can use this in any software that you choose. And you can just click here to get it for free. It's a really cool grid system, and I think you guys are gonna like it. This is what you get when you download the freebie. I had a little bit of issues with the Adobe XD file, so I just took the Photoshop file and exported the grid as two transparent PNG images, one for desktop and one for mobile, which is primarily what I designed for. I think that has something to do with this was created probably in Sketch first, and then they opened it in, converted it to Adobe XD, and sometimes that gets a little iffy and things kind of disappear. So when I loaded the XD file up, there was some lines from the grid that were missing. So I just use an image instead of using that XD file. Uh, but if it works for you, that's good too. But let's go ahead and dive right into the grid itself. There's several lines here and different points of interest that you can align things to. So one of the things I like the most about this grid is all these squares that are created by the different lines of this grid. Uh, you can make modular designs, those square modern ones, very easily just by following this grid. Uh, so if I do my normal wireframe process where I use basic shapes, I'll show you guys a few different screens that I could come up with in different layouts very quickly just by using this grid. And you can see really how fast it is. And so I think the recording set about four minutes for that. And I already have two basic wireframes for two variations of a landing page. And if I were to make these a little bit more of a high fidelity, it would look something like this. In less than about 20 minutes, we have two very different landing pages that I think look pretty cool. I did forget to change that color to something a little bit darker. So go with that. Uh, so. They're not perfect by any means. They need some tweaking and some adjustments and they're all currently using dummy text. Uh, there's nothing real on the page. Uh, so they do need some refining for a full website, but very quickly we have these two unique looking landing pages that I came up with just from using the grid. So I think I still have the grid here. Let me turn it back on and bring it to the front so you guys can see in both of them. And if we start with this design here on the left, I use this big rectangle for this main landing image. Uh, and then I just kind of expanded it to my liking above, just so there was a little offset between that and the text. So you don't have to follow these things perfectly, but you can see that my text down here at the bottom, this is probably like social media links, secondary links are lining to this corner here in the bottom right. Same thing with up here in the top. Uh, the main point of this circle is inside of that line. Same thing with the rest of these elements in the navigation. Uh, so you don't have to follow it perfectly, uh, but it does help. So here I have the button text inside of this defined square. And then for the bottom down here, I thought this was pretty cool. There's this triangle shape. So I literally just traced that and flipped it. And that gave me this cool little thing letting the user know there's more down there. And just using this grid gets me in kind of a different mindset than my normal design and helps me create things that I normally wouldn't. Uh, it just gets me out of the norm, which I like. And I think that's why I'm gonna continue using this for grid for a bit and then maybe switch it up again to maybe even a golden ratio or some other type of grid and then come back to it later on. If you guys would like to see me try out some other grids for designing, let me know down in the comments if you guys have any ideas or I might try to come up with my own kind of grid like this uh, just to add some focal points and get just get the mind thinking a little bit different for design and see what we come up with. If you guys are interested in something like that, let me know down in the comments below. So again, here is the second example. At first I had something that filled out this entire thing, uh, but I didn't have enough pages for that, so I kind of just centered it there. And overall, I still think it looks pretty cool. So I think overall these took about 20 minutes to make from start to finish, and we have some pretty cool websites. So that's kind of how I use this Golden Cannon Grid. 
So again, make sure you guys check it out. The link's down in the description and give that dribble post a like. It's a really cool and interesting grid to use in designs. And in fact, tomorrow I have a tutorial using this grid. So we're gonna create this website that you see right here using the Golden Cannon grid. So make sure you guys have that installed so you can follow along with the tutorial tomorrow. So. I haven't said it already, but this is design week. It's the first ever design week here on the channel. And what that means is it's seven days of seven videos. So over the next six more days, I will have six more videos for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying your week and I hope you guys enjoy the first ever design week. I think this is a cool way to get a lot of content to you guys. And I think it's going to be pretty fun to make all of those videos. I'm really looking forward to it and I hope you guys are as well. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on any of this week's videos. And as always, have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.